The gears shown in the figure have a normal diametral pitch of 5 teeth per inch, a normal pressure angle of 20 degrees, and a 30 degree helix angle. The transmitted load is 800 pounds, and the pinion rotates counterclockwise about the y-axis as viewed from the positive y-axis. What are the forces exerted by each gear on its shaft, and what are the torques in each shaft? This is the first example for the Gear Force Components main videos. The links to both main videos are in the description below. There are a couple of things that we should realize from the beginning. First, the transmitted load refers to the tangential component of the interaction force between gears 2 and 3. If gear 2 is rotating clockwise from the negative y-axis, the tangential reaction from gears 3 to 2 is facing up. Alternatively, to understand this same concept, if 2 is rotating clockwise, then 3 is rotating counterclockwise as a result of the tangential component of the interaction forces. The second thing to notice is that we're giving the normal diametral pitch, which is the pitch or the distance between repeating features, in this case the teeth, in the normal direction, meaning a perpendicular distance. If we don't want the normal distance, but the tangential distance, and with it the tangential diametral pitch, so that we can calculate the diameter of the gears with it and the number of teeth, we can use the helix angle information to find T in terms of N, or the tangential diametral pitch in terms of the normal diametral pitch. With a normal diametral pitch of 5 teeth per inch, the tangential diametral pitch would be equal to 4.33 teeth per inch. The third and last thing to notice is that if the interaction force has to be normal to the surface of the teeth, the axial component of the force from gear 3 to gear 2 is found in the direction of the negative y-axis and therefore in the positive y-axis direction for the force from gear 2 to gear 3. Of course, the radial direction is always oriented towards the centers of the gears. From the expressions we derived during the main video, we can find the values for the radial and the axial components. With the three components, we can find the total force and since the only forces are the interaction forces, this value is true for both shaft A and shaft B. The torque of shaft A would be the radius of gear 2 multiplied by the tangential component, and the torque at shaft B would be equal to the radius of gear 3 times the tangential component. With the tangential diametral pitch and 18 teeth for gear 2 and 32 teeth for gear 3, we find the diameter of each gear and therefore the radii and the torques. For examples using bevel gears and worm gears, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.